What's going on YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys another character build video and this character build is going to be for level 20 Asari Duelists. Now this build can be used on whatever difficulty, gold, silver, bronze, anything like that. And in this build, it's really going to be mainly mobile, meaning like you're going to be all over the place. And so that's what this build is going to focus on, is just going to focus on your mobility, keeping your shields up, so on and so forth. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So for the first area I want to go into is going to be barrier. So barrier is mainly going to focus on increasing your maximum shields, increasing your melee damage slightly, and increasing your, your shield restoration rate. So pretty much when you start this off, your first three skills are going to focus on increasing your shields, increasing your melee damage, and your regeneration. The fourth skill, I went ahead and I put plus 30% max shields because, again, this is going to, you want to focus on getting your shields as high as you can. For rank 5, I went with Barrier Drain. Now, Barrier Drain, as it says, it increases your melee damage by 50% and it restores your shields by 20% per melee hit. This is going to be very important, especially for this build. For, for rank 6, I went ahead and I did Saving Barrier. Now, Saving Barrier is pretty much when, as it says, when your health hits below 25%, you automatically get 100% of your shields back. This is going to be really good if you're running away in certain situations because you're getting too overwhelmed and say your health is getting melted and it drops below that 25% threshold, well then guess what, your barrier springs into action and uh, fully restores. And this actually happens once every 10 seconds, so it's not a constant thing, but at the same time it's not like, it, it's not too far apart, you know, 10 seconds is not really that long of a time especially when you're running around the map. So I decided to go with that other than shields restored on biotic kill. I just felt like that was a much, especially for higher difficulties, this is a much more needed uh, ability for that. All right guys, so coming out of the barrier passive, we're gonna go ahead and go into offensive biotics. So offensive biotics is gonna slightly increase your power damage, but we mainly wanna go for a recharge speed, our power recharge speed and our melee damage because this is going to be a mainly a melee damage build so the first three skills focus on power damage uh plus five percent weapon damage more power damage and melee damage F here i want to go for power recharge speed and this is going to help with getting my charge up because charge is going to be the next skill we're going to go over so i wanted to go ahead and go for recharge speed instead of power damage because i'm not really going to be focusing on uh, doing too much damage with charge my next for rank 5, my next skill is going to be weapons and melee. Definitely want to be increasing that melee damage by 30%. That's awesome. Now, unfortunately, I, we don't have enough skills to get rank 6 uh, for this build. But if I were to get rank 6, I would really like to get Biotic Warrior as this increases my melee damage by 50% as well as increasing the force. So pretty much like after you use a, a, a Biotic ability, if an enemy is unarmored and doesn't have any shields, then your hit will pretty much like make them go flying backwards. It's actually pretty awesome. But for the next one, we're going to go ahead and go to charge. And this is going to be our last main skill that we're going to level up. Alright guys, so for our charge ability, <clears throat> we, we want to spec it so it increases our melee damage and also helps regain our shield. So automatically, just by putting one point to charge, you automatically get 50% of your shield back, which is really helpful. But as you level it up, and it's mainly going to be rank 5 and 6 that, we, that we're going to worry about. Uh, for number 4, you can honestly, you can do whatever. I just chose damage and force, but you could do radius if you wanted to. Knock, if enemies are like really close to each other, you can knock them both backwards. But for rank 5, I want to go ahead and choose weapons and melee. Because again, there's a melee and shield build, so we want to, whatever skill we can, we want to focus on buffing up our melee damage. So we want to choose that over power synergy because we're not really going to be focusing on our biotic power damage too much. For rank 6, we want to go ahead and choose Bastion. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but yeah, Bastion. So basically, this is a huge skill. So after you charge an enemy, 
not only is it going to give you 75 damage resistance for 5 seconds, and if you guys don't know how damage resistance works, the scaling formula that they said is uh, 100 damage resistance is about 50%. So, I, you know, using that I would assume 200 damage resistance is 100%. So, this is almost, you know, 25 damage resistance away from being 50% less damage taken. So, this is actually very helpful. On top of that, this will give you plus 50% more shields, pretty much giving you your entire, this will give you your entire barrier back with just one charge so giving you your entire barrier back with one charge as well as giving you about 50 percent uh, less damage taken for five seconds and it's also it's going to give you plus 35 percent damage and this is uh this can be applied universally to whatever to whatever you're using it for so after all this you're only going to have about three skill points left so for those three skill points, obviously you can't get rank 6, I would love to do that, but you can't get rank 6 for Biotic Warrior. So it would be between Lance and Backlash. This honestly doesn't matter. It would just either give you recharge speed for Lance or recharge speed for Backlash. I went ahead and I picked recharge speed for Backlash. I don't use Lance as much as I probably should, but I, I just don't feel the need of using it when I'm constantly milling i just I, I don't know i just don't do it but i picked recharge speed for for backlash because i often find myself using backlash way more than i use lance especially when i'm trying to get out of situations and so pretty much as i said before this build is really to make you as mobile as you possibly can keeping your shields up all the time so not only will charge increase your shield to 100% off one charge and give you about 50% damage resistance but on top of that after every single melee that you do you're gaining 20% of your shields back which is really nice and plus your melee damage is going to be you know your key thing it's going to do a lot of damage and so the reason why I chose to go with this build is because if you guys might not know the Asari duelist can teleport through walls and that's that's her specialty at least in my opinion that's the cool thing about her on top of that her melee is actually a teleport ability too you can melee from a, about uh, 8 to 10 meters away and, and teleport to your target as you're milling and hit him with that melee and I'll show you guys some clips here right now in fact guys I did forget to mention one thing before you go ahead and or like after you make this build, if you do have the equipment Juggernaut Shield, this is the equipment to use. So you, there's also Biotic Amp, but again, we don't really focus on Biotic Powers. We mainly focus on uh, our shields and our melee damage. And Juggernaut Shield as equipment is very, very useful. So as it says, as you guys can read, it increases shields by 10%. And on top of that, your melee damage is increased by 75%, which is huge, you know? That's only 25% off 100. That's that's almost 100% more melee damage that you're doing with this equipment on. So this is, if you guys do have this equipment, then I would for sure put this on if I were you, because this will definitely help you out a lot. All right, guys, so I'm over here, and I started up on a gold match. And so what I kind of, and just by myself, because I want to show you guys a little bit. So what I kind of want to show you, what's really cool about her, why she's so mobile, is you can really teleport through anything. Like, 95% of the objects you can teleport through, which allows you to get around the map as soon as you can. So this, see, as I biotic charge him, I get my shields back fully. And every melee hit I do, I restore my shields. And so if I need to get out of tight situations, I go ahead and I can teleport right through this wall. Backlash used to really help me out in some situations teleport again so as you guys can see i'm just constantly using my teleport ability to get around the map as as much as i can and see how that shield just sprang into action just now as soon as my health got below 25 percent that's also what's really going to help you out and this this will really help you out against uh the ken any uh and outlaws as well when they have melee characters that are constantly hitting you but so I can just constantly teleport like this through walls, through areas that I need to teleport through, get around the map as much as I can, as fast as I can. So this is what this build is mainly going to be focused around, guys. Um, definitely want to use your biotic charge whenever your shield's low. Don't just want to, you know, you, you want to use it at smart points, smart times. Like my shield's about half, get 75% damage resistance right now. I'm going to go over and teleport through this wall, try to get out of all that. Teleport through this one. So as you guys can see, I'm just teleporting, being as mobile as I can. My melee damage is doing a pretty good amount of damage as well. I get a little teleport melee going on right there to give me some range on it. Get some shields back right now. So on and so forth. It's just like a constant, you know, thing. So 
anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy the the video and i hope this helped you out if you're trying to determine a build for the asari duelist i've been using her a lot I, I i really like her a lot especially just because of all the teleporting that you can do um but if you guys did like this video please don't forget to leave a like and if you guys have any concerns or comments put them in the comment section below i'd love to read them and look at them also, if you guys have any improvements on this build, you, you guys think uh, you can improve it, just go ahead and put that in the comment section too. I'm all about for improving what I can. So, anyways guys, I do thank you for watching, and have a good one. Peace out. <laughs> guys, there's actually one more thing I wanted to talk about before ending that video, or ending this video, is um, actually what weapon to use. So, I use the Equalizer. But really, you can use any pistol of your choosing, or any really any weapon. But I'd go ahead and go with a weapon that, or a class of weapons at least, that has uh, melee damage bonus. So as you see with pistols, I get plus 16%. Uh, oh, oops. I, here we go. With pistols, I get plus 16% melee damage bonus. So with this melee damage, or with this bonus, I, I you know obviously I do increase melee damage, which is really helpful. So I go ahead and choose any class of weapons that give you that. I believe shotguns might give you that as well, although I don't think I have it. Um, I don't think sni I know snipers don't give you that. At least I don't think they do. Assault rifles might give you that, but I don't have it for assault rifles if they do give you that. But anyways, I do have it for pistols, and so that's why I tend to use pistols. On top of that, as you can see, the duelist she doesn't really have a like she doesn't really have a good weight to recharge speed ratio what i mean by that is like i have a pistol on here the equalizer and relative to things like a sniper rifle or a shotgun or something like that it really doesn't weigh that much and as you guys can see at the very at the top next to my weight bar it's almost it's almost about to touch where you get off at 100 percent recharge speed and it starts going down so anyways that's that's just what i would use i definitely use it for the melee optimizer so whatever gun you can put that on go ahead and do that